Hello, and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, we want to simplify a complex fraction. Now, if you're not sure what a complex fraction, here's basically what it means. When you look at a fraction, if the numerator or the denominator, or even possibly both, contain a fraction, then that becomes a complex fraction. So here I have an example of a complex fraction because I have another fraction living in the top and in the bottom. Now, these things can look pretty intimidating when it comes to simplifying, but not to worry, there's actually a way that we can move through this. In order to simplify this guy, we want to turn this main fraction bar into just division. So let me show you what this guy turns into. So basically, I have two-fifths, which is on the top, being divided by a three-fourths on the bottom. Now, the reason why it's good to look at it this way is because then you can attack it using your rules for, say, dividing two fractions. And what those rules say is to take your second fraction, the three-fourths, and multiply by its reciprocal, four-thirds. There we go. And now, look at that. We've turned our complex fraction into actually just a multiplication problem. Let's go ahead and multiply across the top and get eight. Multiply across the bottom and get 15. And there you go. So this entire complex fraction just simplifies into 8 over 15. All right? Let's go ahead and give this another try. All right. Now here's an example of a complex fraction because again, I have a fraction living in the numerator and another fraction somewhere in the denominator. Now in the first step, watch how I convert this into a division problem. So I have 1 7, and this is being divided by 2 plus a 3 fifths. Now I'm using my parentheses here to show that all of this came from the bottom. Now, notice how I can't just flip it just yet, because I have more than one thing inside those parentheses. Let's actually work to get these two guys together, and then we'll go ahead and flip and multiply. So in order to combine fractions, we need a common denominator. So what can I turn the 2 into? Let's see, well that's just 2 over 5, and then we'll add that to 3 fifths. Alright, looks good. So 2 is the same as 10 fifths. I got my three-fifths. Let's go ahead and put those guys together. This will turn into a one-seventh divided by a thirteen-fifths. Perfect. Okay. Now that I have a fraction divided by a single fraction, let's go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal. So five-thirteenths. There we go. And of course, just like before, multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and we are done. There's a 5 for the top, and looks like a 91 for the bottom. So this entire complex fraction reduces to 5 over 91. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.